Welcome to the R video tutorial of working with dates in R part two. Okay, the data set we're gonna work with is the rbobwti.csv data set, which is linked in the repository, which is in the description below. Click the link and it'll take you to it. All right, so this is a part two of a previous video and we're gonna actually continue with what we worked on last time. So if you haven't watched a previous video, you might wanna jump back and look at it now. All right, so I'm gonna read in the data. I'm gonna look at the header and it says I'm gonna test to see if it's a date. We did this last time and you can see it gives an error because there's not actually a date, it's actually text. Uh, and then this is the code to turn it into a date and I showed you how to decipher that out uh, last time and then we can test to see if what we've generated now is a date. And now we actually have this and it says time difference of 287 days, which means we're actually working with dates. Now, once we have them in dates, what can we do with dates? Well, we have lots of dates here. One of the things we might wanna do is what month is this? And you can say, well, I can just look at the data, right? Yeah, you could. Uh, but I think if we use the months function, we can actually put in uh, our data. So I'm gonna put in here dates. Um, and let's just put in some dates that are in the middle, like 210 to, uh, let's say, 230. Okay, I don't know what dates those are. They're in the middle. Okay, and if I were to run this, we can see that January and February it tells us directly the months and it's all written out nicely for us, which means we can use this uh, if we wanted to paste things together into some words to, that have things to do with. Okay, what we can do now is we can look and see what day of the week it is. So what day of the week is it? Because you might wanna see if there's a pattern that's different on Mondays than on Fridays. So for example, we can use the week days function and here, I'm just gonna put in here rbob.dates, and I'm gonna use the same ones as before, 210 to 230. And when I run this, it will tell me what day of the week I'm working on. So it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then notice, oh no, there's no Monday with this one. Uh, probably because in, a, in the US, it, there's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and this happened to be in January. So it's probably that date that was missing. Or it could be missing uh, because of lots of things. Maybe it's uh, President's Day or something. But anyway, uh, you can notice that that Monday is missing in the sequence of dates. Uh, you can get other things out of this. You can calculate the days in between things. Uh, so just keep that in mind. With dates, you can do lots of different things. Uh, so we here we can get the months out, we can get the weekdays out, and you can summarize on those if you wanted to. Uh, we haven't made it far enough along in the course for you to actually be able to do summaries uh, for specific weekdays, but you could when you learn some other functions later like T apply and apply. All right, so this has been working with dates in R part two. Now we can move on to the next video.